Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you some ideas on how to create this replica of the painted glass that hangs in the mudroom of CBC's Heartland TV series. I wanted to clarify I made this for myself, it is not for sale, and the video is not monetized. This is my second attempt at painting glass. It was for fun and creative inspiration. I used PBO Vitrail transparent glass paints and PBO Serin Relief black imitation lead. My application tools were toothpicks, small artist paint brushes, an eyedropper, exacto knives, and a lot of patience. Paint thinner for the paints and rubbing alcohol for cleaning up the glass came in handy as well. To start, I found an image on the internet of this set piece I wanted to replicate. I enlarged the photo of the Heartland painted glass to the size I wanted. Then I printed it and taped those sections together. Next, I taped it down to my work table and taped trace paper on top of it. I traced all the lead lines in pencil and roughed in some of the color shading with colored pencil. Next, I taped down the image I traced onto my workspace by itself, and then put glass on top of that and taped that to the drawing. I used a straight edge to draw the straight lines with the imitation lead and freehanded the other lines. When I made a mistake, I let it dry, scraped it up with a razor blade, and cleaned the area of glass with rubbing alcohol and a cloth over a toothpick. It became easier the more I worked. I worked in sections so the imitation lead lines would dry, and then I wouldn't have a chance of smearing them. This process took a couple of days, a few hours each day. It was fun seeing this thing come together. I tried Krylon frosted glass paint on a paintbrush for the mane of the horse. I later went back and redid this with white vitrail paint mixed with a lot of vitrail clear paint. I had no formula, I just tried different techniques until I found one I liked. I masked off these border sections of glass and sprayed them with Krylon frosted glass paint. This worked out well for these larger areas. I really guessed at the technique for the paint horse in the center. It was a mixture of brushing these areas with clear vitrail and burgundy color paint I blended up. I just had to experiment to get these lines similar to the original. What worked best was letting the paint get a bit tacky after I put it on, and then brushing with a dryish brush with a bit of paint thinner. This was one of the more difficult areas to create. The original set piece seen here has a lot more variants and possibly a different technique was used. The foothill variants came out a little bit better. This was definitely a challenge for me since I didn't really know what I was doing in my experiment. I mixed several shades of color for my horses. The eyedropper and a toothpick cut at a slant were my primary tools for this application. This time lapse is sped up 2400 times. The horse on the left took me most of an hour to fill in. I had to work with two different colors at the same time. They'd run together and that would create the effect I wanted. If I mixed the line where the two colors came together, I could get a different effect. You can see here the purple colored pencil defines my dark and light areas on the drawing under the glass. The ridge along the horse's back is going to be lighter than the belly. I'll admit I had to redo this horse because after it was dry I tried to clean a spot with lacquer thinner and it distorted the paint. I scraped the entire horse up, re it, and repainted it. A lot of extra time but the second horse actually came out better.
The grass areas were fun. I had the technique down pretty well at this point. I was so in the zone, I didn't bother to take progress pictures of this section. I mixed three different transparencies of green. I learned the darker the better, as I had to account for the illusion of double density. I was painting on top of a piece of paper reflecting light up through the glass instead of a light board. For the sky, I used blue right out of the bottle, and the lighter blue was probably one part blue to three parts clear. I used a small amount of turquoise in the thin strips of this sky. I added a couple of favorite mountain ranges in Colorado for my own touch. This is Mount Evans on the right. Over on the left, I have the flat top mountains as seen from the Yampa Valley. After I finished the glass, I had to make a custom channeled frame, something I didn't think about when I started it since I had this custom size. I don't have any experience doing this, but came up with something from a scrap piece of oak wood I happened to have in the garage. Here's the finished piece, not too bad. I actually tacked a piece of trace paper behind to diffuse the light behind the image. I think it looks much better this way than seeing distorted images from outside coming through the glass. I can't believe I stretched this project out over two months and probably worked on it once or twice a week. I had fun making this and the video, so thanks for watching.